platforming. So our speeds and speeds are looking good. I'm gonna start off by facing the part and then we're gonna turn across the OD. My depth of cut is 130 thousandths, but I'm not gonna be using that for the OD pass. It's just gonna hit it in one pass due to the final OD size of my part. We're taking it 10 thousandths away, and then we're gonna start the next tool. Now we're roughing out the bore. For the OD of the part, we went with 600 SFM. I dropped it down to 500 SFM on the ID because my boring bar is sticking out a little bit. I'm using a feed for revolution of 12 thousandths and I'm taking 130 thousandths for the depth of cut. Just like the OD, I'm roughing out the material right now for the finish pass later on. So I'm leaving 20 thousandths of material on the part. We got a nice cut forming with small chips coming off of that bar, so our speeds and feeds are looking good. We finished roughing out the steel part. Let's try the titanium next. So now I'm roughing out the ID of the part. I'm running it with a hundred and twenty thousandths for the depth of cut and a surface footage of 250 SFM with a feed rate of eight thousandths per revolution. We ran the same tools, just different inserts. Dropped the speeds from what we had on this steel, but can't argue with these results. Let's take it out.
Cool, so the titanium part came out great. We compared the differences in roughing 316 stainless to 6AL4V titanium. We have an upcoming video on how to finish both of these materials, OD and ID. Make sure you check that out when that drops. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what we do and you like these videos that we make, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.